Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, March 27th. Uh, happy birthday to my daughter. She turned 16 today. Uh, not the birthday she would have was dreaming about, given the quarantine. But uh, yeah, congrats to her. Happy birthday. Uh, today is Friday, so we are looking at the Modern League deck dump. There are 56 decks in today's dump. So let's get right into it. First off, we have an Atarka Zoo deck. Burning Tree Emissaries, Reckless Bushwhackers, Tarmogoyf, Atarka's Command, Wild Nakatl, um, Naya Zoo, good old classic archetype with a few updated uh, entries. Galia, Clothis being among them. But uh, good, fun, aggressive deck. Romarin with uh, the Electro Balance deck. Electro Dominance, Restore Balance, Crashing Footfalls, it's all the free spells and whatnot. This shows up every now and then. Uh, I have faced it in paper. It is, uh, there's, a, there's a bit of a pucker factor playing against this deck. Rosansky with, what do we got here? Savor the moment, this is a Fires. Interesting. This is a Teamer Fires deck. Um, savor the moment. To, oh, it's turns. Got it. Teamer turns. Uh, yeah, next. I don't like archetypes like that. Edutra. 5-0 with Clothis. Another red. This is this has got a little bit of land hate in it, so we're on the... Uh, the short end of the Ponza scale for red-green aggro decks. The first one we saw didn't even think about it. This one at least has a couple of pillages. Choke in the side. Um, another pillage in the side. So this is part way on the Ponza scale. Bielski with 5-0 with a... Let's see, what do we got? Urza. Is this Demir Urza? Looks like Demir Urza. Yep. Control deck, Urza, Thopter, Sword, combo finish. Um, Cryptic or Archma Archmage Lock with uh, Mystic Sanctuary. So, yep, Demir Control deck featuring Urza and Emery as the win cons. Soimba Airwave with a, the Golos deck I think we saw earlier. I don't know if this was the same player, but we've got Golos. Uro, Excavator, Dryad, uh, Landfallless Land, I guess is the best way to look at this one. Um, yeah, uh, kind of a Teamer Mid style uh, land focused deck. Muxen with Koldotha Rebirth. Uh, so we've got a Boros Koldotha deck here. This is somewhat similar to well there's there's a popper deck that does this but this is obviously using slightly better cards but here's a uh, artifact focused aggro deck here experimental frenzy to kind of get some late game card advantage late game for this deck um, galvanic blast in the side interesting uh, just get you dead sort of what um, affinity was trying the you know the traditional affinity decks were trying to do but this one's doing it uh, through a slightly different axis Zur with boros burn good old classic boros burn nothing really new or surprising here just a good deck ac clem with neobrand and yeah uh, life goes on is a little bit new i think in the main deck I don't remember seeing that. It could be there, but I don't remember it. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Neo Brand. Daniel Stallone with uh, this looks like Eldrazi Tron. Yep. One Emrakul the Promised Inn in the main deck, an Endbringer in the main deck. That's been in and out of fashion with the deck, mostly out lately. Uh, and all is Dust main as well. So that's a. Uh, a little bit of a different tweak here.
It wouldn't surprise me if we see another Eldrazi Tron deck later on uh, with a different threat profile. Misplaced Ginger with uh, Teamer Snow. Um, sorry, Bant Snow. This is the Bant Snow control deck. Not Bant Snow Blade, but Bant S Snow Control. So there you go. This is what the deck's looking A A build of the deck that is being successful. Uh, do check out the preliminaries results. That deck has been popping up a lot in the last week or two. Uh, so yeah, you'll see some, some different builds of it in there. self Isaac with Shadow. This looks like Mardu Shadow. And... Yeah, Hex Parasite, Gurmag Angler, Bobbles, Angress, Rampage. Interesting little inclusion there. A couple of unearths to get your shadows back after they get killed. Or if things get milled for some reason. Uh, yeah, Marty Shadow. The, probably the number three or four version of Death Shadow decks floating around. But, uh, yeah, we, we see it pretty consistently in the deck dumps. Char, Charansobol, Charansobol, that could be pronounced many different ways, with a um, mono-white, this is a uh, Death and Taxes list, stone blade, mono-white stone blade, a little bit of taxing effects, uh, yep, Giver of Runes, Leon and Arbiter. Uh, I will say, you know, being a fan of Aether Vial decks, and if you know me on Twitter, you know that my hand, my uh, avatar in there was is a gorgeous rendition of myself as uh, the character on Aether Vial, uh, the original printing, not this one. Um, I love this style of deck, and I did recently get my uh, secret layer drop of Thalia, and I'm very happy with that. Big Dan with so this is Teamer Snow Blade because this is the the or sorry did it again the Bant Snow Blade deck this is the version with the Stoneforge Mystic package as opposed to being more controlling so those are the two big Bant decks right now the Pen Sword with Blue Moon yep a red blue control deck. Featuring Blood Moon Main and another one in the side. Cortero with an aristocrat style deck here. This is definitely an aristocrat's deck. Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven. The cat oven combo in modern. Love to see it. Uh, we've got the priest. This is wow, this is with the exception of Bob, Falcon Wrath Aristocrats and Thoughtseize. This, the non-lands are basically a standard deck. And we just got a 5-0 in modern with it. Should tell you something about standard right now and the, car, the power level of the cards in it, right? Doriaki with blue-green snow control. Uro and Coatl are the only creatures. Many, many instants. Oh, this is a Wilderness Recla Reclamation deck. Nexus. Okay. So, Simic Nexus. Yep. I don't like that card. I think that was a design mistake. Artubazadi with uh, Titan Shift. And what's in our Titan Shift builds these days? Again, four Dryads, four Titans, four Elders, one Volley Acid Moss to kind of restrict there. Uh, mana a little bit. Not something I see that much. That might... That's kind of an older... Let me rephrase. This has been out of favor in the deck from what I've been able to see. Uh, interesting to see it come back. Lawrence or 12 with Jund. Jund. 3 Renin 6, 4 Blood Braid Elf, 4 Tomagoyf, 4 Liliana. 4 Inquisitions over 2 Thought Seizes. Um, probably paying a little bit of homage to the aggressive slant that Modern has taken lately. 
um, instead of three and three or even four two the other way, as is very common. Marshmallowski with Merfolk, and this is mono blue Merfolk. Two spreading seas. It's been interesting to see this drop from four to two over time. And a couple brazen borrowers. Interesting tweak. Definitely a, a tempo, more of a tempo build. Arrakis with goblins. What do we got in this one? One Pashless Mons, two Grum Gullies, two Bannerets, not four like we saw er, uh, earlier in the week. Uh, but yeah, good old fun goblins. Another Aether Vile deck. Deep Silver with another Jund build. This one on the Crocs, a Dark Confidant, Pyromancer uh, approach. Uh, actually, this is just Black Red. This is not Jund. So this is the Black Red on Earth deck. Skelliminals. Lots of things playing around in this space right now. So this, this is an archetype to be watching. It's, it's been showing up a lot in the last few weeks. Will Pulliam with another 5-0 here. This one with Titan Field. Not Titan Shift. There's no Scape Shifts in the deck. Uh, just Prime Time, Field of the Dead, Valakut. And it is a Bant deck. Interesting. Wargate. Okay, so it's another tutor that isn't a Pact. So you can't get burned on your Pact somehow or other. Um, I could see this, okay, with Boil starting to show up in more and more sideboards, I can see Wargate being used in place of Summoner's Pact, because if you cast the Pact, pass the turn, they Boil, you're out of lands, you know, assuming you have your Dryad out as you typically do in this deck, uh, you're going to lose your Pact on the next turn. But uh, Wargate gets around that. It does your search, and uh, you find your things. C. Newman with, is this mono red? This is, oh, this is the red prison deck. Four chalice, four ensnaring bridge, four blood moon. Yep, red prison. Uh, spirit guides, rituals to try to get the prison elements out faster. And then it kills you with Chandra and then Karn trying to shut you down. Uh, so yeah, mono red prison. Oscar Franco with humans and two Keswick Malcontents main a deputy of detention not something you see all the time in that deck in the main deck at least uh, Militia Bugler in the side Yixla Jailer in the side Collector Oof Magus of the Moon Magus of the Moon is an interesting call in a humans deck that relies on so many powerful non-basics um, but with Aether Vial you know it, it can help you Duhang with, uh, this is Teamer Snow, Teamer Snow. Kind of, a, not really a control deck, just kind of a Teamer, <clears throat> teamer midrange. Um, what do I like in this deck? Ashiok Main is interesting, <clears throat> Chandra in is interesting. Royal Scions. Hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. I could play this. I could see myself playing this. This would be a kind of about as big as a deck as I'd want to get. Given my uh, tendencies towards aggressive strategies. But I could see myself playing this. And Dago 5-0 with uh, Black and White, Eldrazi, and Taxes. Wasteland Stranglers, Thought Not Seers, and your Taxing Elements. Solid deck, always see it around. A couple of lingering souls. <clears throat> it's always part of the meta. TMT Red Fox with Storm. <clears throat> Grape Shot and Empty the Warren's main. So you're not weak to Meddling Mage. Uh, or at least not hyper weak to it. Uh, but yeah, typical Storm build. This one is using fetches. Not all Storm builds do. Um, so do watch your mana bases in that. Uh, and see what people are doing with it. Yep, Storm. KK with a 5-0 with... Uh, this is the mono-white 
Eldrazi and Taxes deck as opposed to the mono white Death and Taxes deck we saw earlier or the black and white Eldrazi and Taxes deck. This one is mono white. So three different flavors on very similar strategies, um, just different threat and uh, taxing packages. The Dogfish with Tropical Merfolk. Uh, this is, you know, the blue green variant. Mistbinders. Command and Speaker. A surprisingly decent one drop in this deck. Alright. Sarkork with Grixis Death Shadow. Surprising how. It is surprising to me how this build of Death Shadow has kind of dropped off a little bit. It's not showing results in the preliminaries. Um, the Jund deck has kind of taken over that slot. And that, I find that a little interesting, just the, the way things have morphed over time. E-Girl Uwu. I love that handle. That's cool. Uh, with, I don't know who it is, but it's cool. Uh, this is the Amulet Titan deck. And... Uh, with three Karns and 29 lands. I've been seeing 30 in some of the builds. Uh, maybe with the Karn, they're changing things up a little bit. But yeah, there's another Titan deck. I think this is the third different one we've seen now. We've seen Titan Shift. We've seen uh, Titan Field and now Amulet Titan. Applap with Mono Red Prowess, the Kiln Fiend deck, the Holy Diva Special. Um... Yeah, get them dead quick. Or or if you don't, you die quick. You go to the next game. E it's easy to get a lot of matches in with this deck. Uh, Shorak, one, two, three, with a different Nexus of Fate deck. This one is Teamer. I think the one we saw before was a different color scheme. Um, but Wilderness Reclamation, Nexus of Fates, trying to take the turns. Uh, I guess you could call this Teamer Scred. Uh, I don't recall seeing Scred in the other build. So maybe this is a tweak off of Scred as much as it's a tweak off of Nexus of Fate. Store Shop 216 with Tron. Good old mono green Tron. Toothrag Tusk Main. Um, this is a little bit smaller more aggressive build of Tron. Uh, only one Worm Coil engine. We've got two Thrag Tusk and four Thought Not Seer main. This is a blend kind of of Eldrazi Tron and normal Tron, where you're not running the Chalice of the Voids that are the signature card for Eldrazi Tron. Here you're running the chromatic map package to try to get turn three Tron, but your threats are leaner. Um, only two Karn Liberated, four Karn Great Creator, only one Ugin and not two. Uh, Matter Reshapers and Thought Not Seers. So this is an interesting blend of the two decks. And it, if you watch my uh, metagame video from Wednesday, you noticed that Tron, Green Tron and Eldrazi Tron were the top, most common decks appearing in the preliminaries results. So adding in this uh, blend of the two you know, trying to hit the best of both worlds and got a 5 0 out of it. So uh, we'll see where that goes. Shuffler owned with four color snow control. Yep, pretty much. Uh, Dead of Winter is your sweeper. Lots of, uh, well, not lots of counter spells, but Drown on the Lock is either counter or removal. Assassin's Trophy is removal. Force of Negation for the counter. Your Planeswalker package and your threats. Abominable Tree Folk as a four mana big thing. Because um, you're going to have a lot of snow permanents in this deck. Poe Master with Ad Nauseum. Don't see anything unusual in this build. Ad Nauseum. Made the list this, this dump. Uh, Hoopma Ignacio with Saltai Snow. Um, basically a riff off the black-green rock archetype with Liliana Dark Confidant Tarmogoyf. But here splashing blue instead of red as we see with Junk or with Jund or white as we see with Junk. 
uh, here, Sultai. And, um, you know, just the different... It does give you access to counter spells uh, if you want it uh, in the side in particular. So if you want a little more controlling stance to your Brock deck, you know, look into a Sultai build like this. Vilhatarn with... Is this Mardu Pyro? This is Mardu Pyro. Um, interesting build. So, I mean, this deck is pretty customizable using Seasoned Pyromancers instead of Young Pyromancer. One Ox as kind of the third Bedlam Reveler in the deck. Um, Hazaret as the threat as the hardest to deal with threat, I guess, out of them all. Uh, ransack the lab to dump things in your library to get them out. Uh, interesting. Interesting deck. Or I guess to dump things in your library to make the Ox and the Bedlam Reveler a little easier to, to handle. Crash, Az Crash Az Azarel. Crash Azarel. Something like that. What have we got here? Is this this is a Jund build. This is Jund Shadow. Yep. Goyfs. Inquisition Thoughtseize. Traverse. So, uh, here is your... Where is this? Yeah, it is Jund. The only red in the main deck is Tarfire. Is that accurate? Now, you got the Rampager for your to generate Trample. Um... Mostly black green, but that little splash of red. Uh, choke in the. That's green. Any? We've got Croxa in the side. Magus of the Moon. Culligan's Command in the side. So a little bit of red in the side, but not much main. Uh, so interesting bet, uh, build there. Bench Summer with another take on the Unearth deck. Yep, just black, red on Earth. Yogmoth main deck in this one. Interesting. But uh, yeah, there you go. Another take on it. Compare the two builds. See which one. If this is an archetype you're looking at, uh, see which one you like better. John Clee with Dredge. I don't see anything really too unusual in this. Uh, yeah, that's Dredge. Bant is love, and Bant is love is playing Niv Mizzet, not Bant. Um, what is good? What is different about this list? It's odd to see Bloodbraid Elf even as a two of in a build of Niv Mizzet with this few creatures. Uh, you're going to be cascading into some more reactive spells. Though you could cascade into any of the planeswalkers too, that would be uh, that would be a thing. But uh, yeah, again, you guys know by now I love this deck. Uh, not the build I would play personally in a tournament over a long number of rounds because it just takes me too long. But uh, yeah, great, great archetype. It's so much fun to play. It's almost like playing Commander in Modern. Uh, this build is using Utopia Sprawl for its ramp, so. Uh, you know, as we've seen with a fair bit of Ponza decks floating around, that's a little bit dangerous. But, uh, yeah, definitely see what he's doing there. Boil in the side. Sometimes you just get him. Magic JPEG. Magic JPG. With... What is this? What do we got going here? This is a Bant deck. This is a Bant Snow deck. And this is a... Oh, this is Bant Soul Herder. Okay. Have not seen that in a bit. Uh, that's one that's definitely ta tailed off. Uh, I have faced this deck. It is, uh, it is an effort to beat. You can beat it, but the games take a while, and you've got to be really careful about how you approach it. But um, this is, yeah, this is a cool, uh, a cool archetype. I have, and I've mentioned, I play a more aggressive. Uh, Niv Mizzet build than what we just saw. Uh, I do have Soul Herder and uh, Siege Rhino in my build currently. 
and that is that is a fun thing. And the first time you blink that siege rhino at end of turn, uh, I've gotten people to concede to that. It's like, oh, hold it, I'm not beating this. Justo D'Angelo with Bogles. No, sorry, Bogles. What am I saying? In fact, it's been a week, guys. It's been a week. Yeah, this is in fact. Uh, anything of note in this build? Lines. No, nothing too unusual here that I see. So, yep, in fact. Rearrange us. That's an interesting handle. With spirits. This is blue-white spirits. Uh, so, good tempo build. Another Aether Vile deck. Um, yep, blue-white spirits. Scooter 8968 with Uroza. Uh, kind of surprised it took this long to get down here. I didn't notice how this list is sorted. It might be by handle. Um, but, uh, yeah, Uroza. Snow-based uh, blue-green uh, mid-range deck, really. Uh, using both Uro and Urza, probably two of the three best creatures in the format right now. Tarask with uh, five-color elementals. Uh, yeah, this is a... I want, I want to get this deck to work. I did try it once. I did not do well with it. I need more reps with it. But this is the kind of stuff I love. Bad Magic Player. Playing an interesting deck. What, what is, it? is it? Oh, Mono Blue Tron. Okay. Um, fringe. Always around. It's it's a thing. Mono, it's, it's for the people who can't figure out if they want to play Tron or Control, so they do both. M. Hayashi with Burn with Prowess. This is not the Mono Red Blitz deck we saw earlier with Kiln Fiend. Uh, this is the True Prowess build. Um, but yeah, that, that's always around. Night Shadow J with Hollow One. I love Hollow One. I gotta try this build. Once I get to play Paper again. Sprouts with uh, Jund, Traver Jund Delirium. I guess, or, yep. Yeah, the Delirium uh, flavor of Jund with the Traverse and the Grim Flayers. So, slightly different take on your black-green archetype, as we've seen elsewhere. Urza the Planeswalker with a Super Friends deck. Uh, we saw this last uh, dump as well. Uh, I think the numbers were slightly different in the Planeswalker mix. I don't remember there being three Dovins. I could be wrong there. But, uh, yeah. Good to see this showing up re for a second time. So this might have a little bit of staying power. Something to look at if you've always been curious about a Super Friends build in your deck. Or in your uh, repertoire. Mission of Scar. Playing Tron. And this is your traditional green Tron. Um, I love the bottle gnomes in the side. Absolutely love the bottle gnomes in the side. That's great. Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know if they ever searched it up with Karn, but there you go. Uh, but yeah, this is this is your mono green Tron build with Karn Great Creator. Granum with uh, smallpox and. I don't see anything unusual in here. Aaron, you would know this better than I would, but yep, there's your smallpox deck. Reb, with our last deck today, this is the Yawgmoth combo deck. The black-green Yawgmoth deck. Uh, so it's it's still hanging around, uh, even without Once Upon a Time. So good to see that uh, having a little bit of staying power here. So uh, yeah, that's our, our dump for today. Some good stuff in here, some old favorites. Um, if you like what I'm doing here, do please like, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Proggyboog. Uh, please, if you want to see 
uh, you know, if you've got some feedback for me, you want to see me do things a little differently, do please uh, leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. And thank you for watching. And we will see you next Monday with Pioneer. Have a good weekend. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.